Here, I'm going to show you how to very easily save cells, charts, and shapes as images from Excel. And the very first thing that you want to do is to get everything looking how you want it to look, or at least that which you're about to export as a picture. And let's start with cells. All you have to do is to select them and hit Control C to copy them. Then go to the Home tab, Paste, and click this little guy right here in Other Paste Options. This is going to create an image for us, a little picture. And we can click it and pull it down and see that we have an actual image. And we can do everything that we can do with a regular image. We can resize it. We can go to Picture Format and change how it's going to look. The most important thing to note, though, is that if you do not add a background color, this is not going to have a background. See how it's transparent? So take note of that. But once you have it looking how you want it to look, then just right click and go to Save as Picture. Choose where you want to save it on your computer and very important, you can change the name, but also the type. So depending on what you want to do with this, you may need to save it as a different image type and you have a few options down here. Usually the first two are pretty good, Portable Network Graphics or the JPEG File Interchange Format. We will stick with the PNG format for now. Save. And then we have our picture right here. And now you can do whatever you need to do with it. So uh, let us go back here and I'm going to show you what happens when we change the background. Let's put night mode on this guy. And let's do the same thing. Night mode I showed you how to make in a previous tutorial. It's one of my favorite features. So we can control C to copy it once again. Or what we can do is go up here and go copy as picture. That's another option. Not required, but it gives you a couple different things you can do. As shown on screen, as shown when printed, and format picture or bitmap. I find that you pretty much never need to do this though. So I'm going to do the regular copy, control C, and then paste, and picture. Here's our picture. Let's right click that guy. Save as picture. Save. And there we go. Now let's do it for the chart. That is so, so, so easy. Get your chart looking how you want it to look. Right click, save as picture. Choose the location for it, give it a name and the correct image type. And there we go. Now, how about a shape? The shape is going to be the same as the chart. Get your shape, this guy looking however you want it to look. Then right click it and go to Save as Picture. And with this, it's going to default to Scalable Vector Graphics, which may not be what you want. So what we can do is go ahead and choose Portable Network Graphics. I don't want this guy to change. I want it to be basically an image. So I will click that, hit Save, and there we go. Notice that the black background color didn't transfer with this one. So if you want to change the color for this guy, you click it and go to Graphics Format, and you can do all sorts of things here. And saving as a picture is going to work when we go to Insert, Illustrations, for pretty much everything that you have here. So we can put in all sorts of icons, and in fact I think that is an icon, not a shape, and then you can also do it with shapes as well. So you have lots of options for things that you can add, and then very quickly and easily save as an image, and do whatever you want to do with it from there. That's all for this tutorial, but if you'd like to learn so much more about Excel, how to automate it, how to send emails, how to get good, nice input forms where someone can type something in, have it saved in another workbook or another worksheet, then check out my full Excel courses that are on my website, teachexcel.com. I'll put a link to it below this video.